I'm going to show how to install Nextcloud on a cloud server with the UBOSS Linux distribution in about four minutes after the uh, server has booted. So I have no time to lose, let me get right into it. We start by going to the UBOSS website at uboss.net and there getting started uh, seems like uh, the place to start. Scroll down for the instruction for Amazon that gets us right into the Amazon uh, EC2 wizard. Uh, pick a uh, kind of server here uh, and then just click through all the defaults. They're perfectly fine for this demo. Uh, then select the security group. Uh, that is an Amazon feature, uh, basically a firewall. We have to be able to SSH and HTTP into our server, accept all the defaults and uh, select the key pair that I have already and get the instance uh, started. Now, while the instance is booting, uh, we can already uh, set up DNS. So I'm just going to copy the uh, the IP address from over here and go into my other tab, which is the uh, DNS control panel for uh, GoDaddy, where I have a spare domain that I'm not really using for anything else right now, uh, where I'm going to set up a uh, demo host that points to the uh, IP address that um, Amazon has allocated uh, for our new instance. Uh, save this and then uh, go into a shell and um, uh, SSH into the server, except that uh, this is not going to uh, work yet because the server hasn't actually booted yet. So it's the initializing quite. In the meantime, I can show myself here and cut myself into uh, the video. Hi, I'm Johannes Ernst. Uh, thank you for letting me demo all the way from Silicon Valley, where I assure you, not everybody is out to spy on you. Also, lots of people are. Apps like Nextcloud are absolutely wonderful to prevent some of that spying and let us take um, our data back home where it, where it belongs because it is our data. Unfortunately, um, server maintenance is required and that tends to be something not so many people know how to do or like to do, which is why I built UBoss. UBoss is a Linux distro that makes all of that a lot easier simply by um, hiding all the complexity like how to install a database uh, or how to get an SSL certificate or which uh, Apache config files to edit behind a very simple set of commands uh, that I'm going to demo in a second. Because I only have um, a few minutes I'm only going to show how to set up a site but other commands uh, like how to update the entire server or how to backup and restore are uh, just as easy um, as the create site. Okay, the server has booted. I can connect it with uh, SSH and the command I'm going to use to install um, Nextcloud is UBUS admin create site. I'm going to say uh, TLS and let's encrypt because I'd like to have a TLS site. And, oops, um, UBUS isn't quite there yet. Um, it uh, generates a, a few cryptographic keys uh, right upon the first boot. And so that uh, took a little. Um, okay, here we are. Next attempt works. Uh, now this, uh, I need to answer a few questions in terms of what kind of site I want to create. So here it has a host name, it has an administrator account, uh, it has notification email, and then I'm going to enter Nextcloud 9 as the name of the package um, that is, contains the application I'd like to install. Now what happens is that uh, UBoss downloads the uh, Nextcloud package uh, and uh, figures out some information uh, from, from some additional metadata that's bundled, such as, for example, it suggests to put that application at the relative path Nextcloud. Um, and uh, we could put it somewhere else at the uh, top of the site or wherever we like. And now um, it has the uh, dependencies and um, and actually uh, downloads a database and, downlo uh, and downloads uh, whatever middleware is required, PHP and so forth, um, and um, then um, deploys them into the right place in a web server directory, uh, generates Apache config files, um, does all these kinds of things that one usually has to do manually, uh, initializes the database, um, and restarts uh, servers if necessary, um, like an Apache server. Um, and uh, this is all automatically. You, you see there is nothing in here that says um, that the database is involved. Um, and the, the, uh, the, the way this works is uh, the same regardless of uh, whether an application uses uh, a database or it doesn't or what kind of middleware it might be using or anything like that. Okay, we're getting to, oops, what is that? Okay, let's take this away. You don't want to see this at this conference. Um, we just got a, a notification from uh, Let's Encrypt uh, that the uh, certificate was provisioned because UBoss uh, automatically uh, integrates with uh, Let's Encrypt. So you don't have to do that uh, manually either. 
um, and um, and uh, there's some more um, reconfiguring of the web server because uh, the, the way Let's Encrypt works, um, but uh, and restarting the web server, but um, it will get there um, all eventually. I have already entered the uh, host name in my browser, so I can be really fast uh, for the purposes of uh, demoing uh, this, uh, this installation. And uh, before too long, it uh, should now be done. Let's see, where are we? Come on. Some of that has to do more with Amazon than with uh, with uh, UBoss in terms of uh, how quickly it uh, installs. Um, I also only used a, uh, a, an actual hard drive uh, rather than a uh, flash uh, drive um, at Amazon because I accepted uh, the defaults uh, in the visit. Okay, here we are, and uh, I can uh, access the site uh, in the browser. There is a screen at the front of the, of the site, and then on the slash next cloud, I can have now next cloud, and I can use the administrator uh, information I entered into the visit to uh, log into next cloud. And voila, here we are, the initial uh, screen for next cloud, as you certainly know it. Um, and with the initial data, and I uh, have to pick the San Francisco one because uh, that's roughly from where the demo comes from, slightly to the right from here. Thank you. For more info, go to this website, or you can always uh, find, well, not always, but often find me on IRC. Thank you.